Hello and welcome to Descara Accounting. For our overview today, what we're going to be doing is taking you through buying and selling something. We're going to take it from a point where uh, we're going to create the vendor, we're going to create the product, we're going to do it all on the fly while we're working in the system. So uh, essentially what we're going to look at is the idea that we're going to buy something. So we need to, cre so we need to create a vendor invoice. Uh, assuming that this vendor is already in there. So the invoice number pops up automatically. That's happening through account preferences. We, uh, you can put the information in there to tell it how that's going to happen. As you can see here, all the different automatic number generation is something that's put in the system ahead of time. So uh, what we have is an automatically generated vendor invoice number. The date's put in automatically. The vendors, we drop down and we look. We're, uh, we're looking for, uh, uh, let's just say, Microsoft. So clearly not in there so what we'll do is we'll go ahead and create the vendor right here on the fly so the vendor name is Microsoft easy enough opening balance is nothing right now US currency if we're in the US let's call it US dollar uh, it's clearly a credit account so um, the address is Redmond Washington right and uh, their email let's just say is Microsoft at ms.com Okay, contact number would be their phone number if we had it, things like that, other information. Debit term, we've got them listed as 45 days. Um, let's go ahead and give them the three days because, I mean, it's Microsoft, right? They're going to be able to handle this. So we'll hit save. The vendor information was saved, so we're going to drop down here now. We're going to type an F for M, pardon me, for Microsoft. Uh, address pops up automatically. Three-day debit term. No discount this time, and we're working U.S. dollars. So... For the product, we're going to come here. We're going to drop down. And let's buy. Uh, let's buy Microsoft Office, uh, MS Office. So, don't see it listed here. So let's go ahead and create it. So we're going to click on uh, the plus sign right there, and that's what took us to this screen here. We're going to create a product in here. This is going to be um, actually this is going to be a non-inventory part. This is just going to be a uh, piece of software. So, pardon me. The product name is Microsoft Office. Uh, the product ID, um, MSO, right? Microsoft Office, and uh, this is the Office Suite. Suite. There we go. So the unit of measure, we're going to call these units because it's going to be uh, a matter of units as opposed to if we drop down here, we can do gross, handset, set, count, meter, but unit is the best bet for this. Uh, the reorder level, this is going to tell us uh, how, many, how many need to be in stock before we need to reorder. So let's say two, for instance. Uh, let's see, the more official way we put this, it, it defines a stock level for an item, which is to purchase order items. Then when, they, when the item needs to be placed in for purchase, when we reach two, okay? Reorder quantity is 10, so you have enough in stock at the time. It takes two days to get them, right? And the cycle interview in, interval right here is, uh, is uh, 60 days. So every 60 days we'll go through and we'll count and we'll make sure that we have uh, at least two in the system. Actually, I guess at least three. And once we reach two, we'll reorder another ten. Every sixty days, we'll make that count. Um, we'll just go ahead and purchase this on a sales account, and uh, the purchase account is going to be purchases. So let's go down and just grab that. You know what? It's harder to find this way. Uh, just typing in a P here would have brought per, uh, purchases up. So. Purchases software, as a matter of fact. Let's go ahead and do that. And then the return account will go ahead and be the same. Uh, purchases software there. So uh, the initial quality, the quantity, this is the quantity that we're going to have in stock to begin with. So uh, so right now, let's say it's going to be 10 because that's where we're going to uh, place the order. The initial purchase price, let's say we're paying $30 for it and we want to sell it for 50 if we want to turn around and sell it later. So that's, uh, that's all the information you need in there for the product. So we're going to hit save right here. You cannot edit the initial quality of the product later, which makes sense because the initial quality is how much you have in stock right now, not something you're necessarily going to want to edit later anyway. So yes, let's go ahead and continue. And the product's been saved. As we go in here, we're going to drop this down to Microsoft Office. Right. Right here. And everything else will pop into place there. Uh, the quantity, we're going to order 10 to begin with. So we're looking at $300. Uh, we'll go ahead and throw some tax on there. And the tax type will be standard tax, so it's 10% there. $330 is what we're looking at. We're going to save this. Yes, we have now created a vendor invoice that is still in the system. So, uh, yeah, we're going to close that panel. That is how we create a vendor invoice and a product on the fly. Thank you.